NL, I babysitted my one-month-old niece. I am going to get a vasectomy immediately. I mean, brother, welcome to the show. Like, one month is like, they don't do anything. So, like, if, they, <laughs> if that's... If you're tapping out after babysitting a one-month-old, you are making the right decision, quite frankly. Because I, I remember thinking back to, like, when my baby was one month old, or one month old, and I was like, oh, man, this is, like, so much work. Literally, I was just putting her, like, in her rocker and rocking it with my foot while I played Rocket League. And then after, like, three hours, I'll be like, my ankle's kind of tired. I'd say right around, whenever they start to, to really walk, that's when it gets crazy. Because you're basically like a prison warden. Like, it's, she's, my daughter's two and a bit right now. She's like 2.33 years old. And there's, like, I don't think it's as hard as it was when she had just started to walk. Because I can talk to her, I can reason with her. She goes crazy sometimes. Like, sometimes we, it, when she's, like, in a store and she's like, no, I don't want to hold your hand. I'm like, you got to hold my hand. We're, like, you know, I, we need to walk together. She'll just, like, lay down on the tile in Canadian Tire. But I'm, like, so inoculated because it happens all the time that I'm just, like, I'm just going to let her lay down here for, like, 20 seconds. And then after, like, 20 seconds with no reaction, she just gets up and holds my hand. Anyway, I still think two and a half is, like... It's not as hard as it used to be. Because, like, when the physical skills develop, but the language skills are not there yet, it's, like, you're basically just trying to make sure they don't kill themselves multiple times every day. No, don't throw yourself over the railing of the stairs. Don't stick your head between the railing. Don't try to put your finger into this electrical outlet. Don't, uh crawl under the dining room table and then stand up super fast and smash your head on the stone. Don't, you know... Yeah! I know you want to climb up on the bar stool by yourself, but you're going to fall over. I know you want to jump, like, up and down on, like, the corner of the bed, but can you just move to the middle, please? Stone dining table? Bro, I, I live in Minecraft, okay? But now it's actually, like, rewarding, for sure. Like, um, being a parent of like a one and a half year old is a fairly thankless job. That's why you got to like thank each other. But then once your kid can actually say like, you know, daddy, I love you. Then you're like, it's all worth it. I still need a little me time, but <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all worth it. And now, honestly, I really appreciate hanging out with my nieces because they're like seven and 12 now. And they're literally just people. They'll start talking to me about, like, you know, some stuff that makes absolutely no sense at all. But at least they're carrying the conversation. All I have to do is go like, oh, really? Whoa, that's cool. Hey, what's sixth grade like these days? And then, like, you can ask... I don't know if you know this. Maybe you haven't talked to too many kids recently. You can ask a kid, like, the dumbest fucking question of all time. And they'll give you an earnest answer. It's a beautiful thing. Example? Well, like, listen, this is just, I'm concocting one from my head, but I feel like when I was talking to my nieces, you could just ask them ridiculous questions. You could be like, you know, hey, what's school like? And they could just go off for like 10 minutes. And you just go, whoa, really? And then, they, like, I don't know if people realize that th this is why older people always talk about the way things were back in their day. It's not nostalgia, it's just relating. See, the, because if you're the same age, what you don't realize is you're saying all the time what things are like back in your day, but it's just that today is your day. So when I'm talking to my 12-year-old niece about what middle school is like, and she says something about middle school, and I'm like, well, back in my day, we didn't learn calculus until the 11th grade. People would be like, wow, that's what a boomer would say. What do you want me to say? Goo goo ga ga, hit the gritty, like that's not, I can't relate to it. I gotta relate through the lens of, of the past, because that's when I lived that shit. When in doubt, hit the gritty. I've never hit the gritty, but I would say, like, never say never. There might be a time where I decide it's worth it. Go back to middle school? Bro, honestly, if you send me back to middle school, I would be valedictorian easily. Don't get me wrong, having been to middle school, like, you know, there's a lot of smart kids in middle school, but their priorities are all messed up. Kids will literally have, like, infinite time, and they'll be like, I didn't want to do my homework. Why? I don't know. My ass would be, like, getting home, 
and doing my homework immediately. As, as soon as I stepped foot in the door, I would do that homework immediately. I would proofread it. I would make sure it's 100%. Now, you, I would be a nerd, absolutely. I would absolutely crush middle school right now. It's not even close. I even did it when I was in night school. Now, mind you, I had w literally one class, so I'm not trying to say, like, it was that hard. Thanks, that would have been useful 15 years ago. <laughs> well, you know. Well, like, here's the thing, you gotta do it anyway. Why not, why not do it in, like, the most stress-free way possible, which is, like, uh... You know, d knocking it out immediately so that you can just enjoy the rest of your night instead of... I don't want this piece of junk. Instead of like, oh, I'll do it in two hours. Oh, no, actually, like, uh, wait till I hit level 99 Agi in OSRS first. Like, easy to say when you're not drained from school. Bro, what are you, we're talking about kids in like the sixth grade. What do you mean drained from school? You get two recesses a day and a lunch break and you just sit in the chair while somebody else like talks at you the whole time. Like, what's, <laughs> what, do, what do you mean drained? You're 12 years old. You're sleeping like 11 hours a night. How drained could you be? Introverts don't exist? What are you talking about? All that running around was exhausting? Bro, that's why you get to eat the world's worst sandwich for lunch. Literally two pieces of Wonder, Wonder Bread with a single slice of salami in the middle. It's a 90 calorie sandwich with 3000% of your daily allotment of sodium in it. Okay, if you are living in South Korea and you're a middle school student, first off, you're not watching the stream because you're like in school 18 hours a day right now. But yes, that's a very different story for sure. The kids in sixth grade, when I taught English in South Korea, they were learning like the same math that I learned in my first year of like university calculus. Nerds. Yeah, <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh, man. Being a kid was easy in hindsight, but I was stressed out at the time. I think that's fair. And that's like basically the, the reason for my worldview that we should give kids jobs. Like we should have life structured in such a way that it works in reverse. It should start really hard. Like child physical labor it, and like dangerous stuff too, like Alaskan crab fishing and like going into the coal mines and stuff. And then maybe when you're like 12, then you can have like a nine to five office job. And then when you're like 25, you're like CEO. And then at 30, you go to the MBA. And then at 40, you go to school because your ass would like appreciate school. You'd be like, oh my God, I'm learning so much. And then, I don't know, starting at like age 60, you get to be like a baby again. Like you don't, I, like even when I'm 60, I don't know if I'm just built this way. I don't really want to poop my pants and have someone change my diaper. But someone like, you know, prepare like literally every like meal for me and handle my every will. Sure, that sounds nice. 60, you become a streamer. Plus two, plus two. Would you send your kid to the mines? I would, if I had to send them to a mine, I would prefer for it to be like one of the ones that's not bad. Like not asbestos or something like that. Maybe like... I feel like the salt mines can't be that bad, right? By by comparison, whose kids would you send to the dangerous mines? I don't know, someone else's. I hadn't really thought that far. Honestly, it's not my problem. 